Okay, we're still working on it. Alright, so I'm going to begin the lesson and, and talk about what we're going to do a little bit. Um, so I need to see a show of hands. I know we talked about this before. How many students are thinking about or considering going on to some further education? Any kind, even vocational, anything. Community college. Okay, great. More than half of you, which is good because this class is called <coughs> Prep. Bless so, you. It's going to be the main topic we talk about. So, um, the objective. Could I get somebody to read the objective? I'll read it. Volunteer. Thank you. Proposal well, working group and research on list of criteria regarding an assignment type of college and present their findings to the class. At the end of all the presentations, each student will have a resource to draw upon regarding each type of college. Okay, great. Thank you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work in groups. Um, I'm going to show you a couple videos and we're going to talk about a few things first and then I'm going to divide the class up into groups and you'll go out with the Chromebooks and do some research. I'm going to give you a list of criteria to go find out about these certain things and then on one of the subsequent days we'll report back to the class. You guys will each have a we're going to give you a worksheet and you can fill in as the other students give you the information. And at the end of it, you're going to have a grid that will have all the different, the types of different colleges and, and all the criteria we talked about. So you can kind of start formulating in your mind where would, what would be the best fit for me. And just to educate yourself because a lot of you have your own kids and they may go to college someday. It's just a, it's one of those good things to know about. Um, I think to scroll this to talk about 20th, 21st century skills. Have any of you ever heard of, of that, 21st century skills? No? Okay. No. Let's see if I can... Thanks for being patient with me. So 20th century skills, 21st century skills is kind of a new term and educators are trying to pay a little bit more attention to what students are going to need in the real world when they graduate from high school and go on to the workforce. Um, it also has, has to do with instead of a teacher standing up and lecturing all the time, giving students more control. So that's why a lot of times now you'll you'll get computers and you'll go back and you'll do do research and come back and report to the class or write something up or something like that. It gets students a little bit more involved, it's a little more interesting and they you know a lot of research has been done that shows that people learn better that way and they also learn better when they learn from peers and through collaboration. So what's what's collaboration mean? Working together. Working together, exactly. So these, so one of the things I have to do now is I write up lesson plans and I turn them into my school, showing you know what I'm going to teach here for you guys, and I'm I'm to identify the 21st century skills and there's about um, I think there's like 10 of them that they've identified. So this particular lesson, I identified eight 21st century skills. So that's kind of a cool thing is it's incorporating a lot of skills that you'll that you would use in the workforce like you know collaboration working in groups information literacy being able to go out and, and search the web and find what you need to find about a particular topic I mean those are those are skills like like probably when you first start looking up things on the internet you put in the search right and what what's the, the inclination is to kind of, your eyes just go to the first thing at the top, right? Like we all go to Wikipedia, we grab what we need, boom, I finished that. But there's a little more to it than that. You have to be, you have to be able to, to, to look at what's available to you and figure out what's the best source for what I, what I need to find out. So there's a, there's a skill to that. And then the other thing we identify is the big ideas. What big ideas am I trying to accomplish in this lesson? And so, what I said is research techniques, which I just touched upon, presentation skills, you're going to come up and just, it doesn't have to be, it 
doesn't have to be, um, don't, you don't have to think of yourself as a presenter. You're just giving information to the rest of the class. So um, it's not, it shouldn't be a big scary thing. And, um, and then, and you guys have done some of that in the past, I know. And then the collaboration teamwork like we talked about. So I think now I'm going to go to the video, which means I have to go back over to All right, so I'm going to play a couple of videos, and I would like you guys to take notes on this on your sheet of paper. So we'll be right back. All right, let's start <laughs> So why do you think I showed you that video? So we could go to college. <laughs> so you could go to college, like it's just silly, right? It's like that whole excuse me, boys. It's that whole um, thinking of you know people doing stupid stuff. It's just silly, but it's just making the point of hey, you know, go to college, get smart, make good decisions. Okay, just kind of silly. And now I'm going to play another one that's a little. That we'll talk about the different um, types, classifying the different types of, of colleges and universities. So this one, you may want to take some notes. It'll help you when you go to do the research projects that's coming up. So yes, take notes on this. Very good, Lucy. Universities are usually bigger. They usually like the school and the school of engineering. Points. And that brings us to colleges. Any thoughts? Anyone? Anyone? Are they smaller? Yes, they are usually smaller, which can mean a smaller enrollment and smaller classes. So they are usually better. Financial aid. What do you think might be the benefits, uh, or what is what did the video say? the benefits are of looking into a vocational school versus a four-year school. Can you get in there faster? I'm sorry, I'm going to if I went to a vocational school. You get in there faster, meaning getting into the job faster? Right, you can get, you can get into the job faster, because it's usually it's a year or two years, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Versus four. What else? <laughs> okay, hold on. Do companies like, like kind of look at you like more down if you did a, a smaller than a huge person? So I think it really depends on what you want to do. Thank you. Um, so let's say you wanted to be a welder. Does it require a four year degree to be a welder? No. No. But does it, does it, can you just go and say, hey, I saw the sign in the window for a welder. I want to be a welder. No, you need training. Right. You need training. And so you can get that training at a vocational school. So the advantage of the vocational school is it gives you the very specialized knowledge for whatever it is you want. So to answer your question, it just depends on what you want to do. You know, like I saw that list of jobs, and some of those I didn't realize um, that vocational schools, that they were a match for vocational schools. So there's a, you know, there's a lot of jobs that, that fall into that category. So I included that um, in our big categories that we're gonna, we're gonna go through. I need like a little more light. Maybe, maybe raise one or two of those up again. Okay. Um, and what any takeaways from any what's on in your notes from the first video? Anything stand out from what you took on took notes on? I think I think it just comes down to figuring out what you want to do and then figuring out what education makes a week. 
Sorry, we're trying to figure out the window situation so they have light. <laughs> um, figuring out what you want to do and then what education and training you need for that job. Right? So, like, even if you want to be a hairdresser, you know, you're probably not going to get too many clients if you're not trained. Because no one's going to, you know how we are about our hair girls, right? We want you to know what you're doing. So there's training that goes along with that. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to divide the class up. And I think we're going to do 12 groups. So it's going to hey, be groups sorry, I did two. Lori, I'm sorry, I need to interrupt. So there's so much talking while she's teaching, it's annoying even me. Okay, what I want you to do is find a partner. All right. And then I'm going to, when you have your partner, I'll let you know uh, what the groups are. Actually, let me project something um, for you right now. Visual aids. Visual aids are good. You want to project that? And then. And then my brother in my my my
what are your questions? What did I leave out? Would you pick any school for the topic we're talking about? So, what's your category? So, what I would do for for that one, excuse me, we have a, a good question. He's saying, he got, he got community college. He's saying, well, can I pick any school? So, I don't want you to focus on just one school, because then you're just getting data from one. But I would, I would look at a minimum, like three. Look at three schools. Okay, so we, we write down three different names on full name of school. And you put three different locations? That's, this is a There's a hole in the lesson plan. This happens when you're a new teacher. <laughs> All right, let me think about this for a second. All right, you guys. Let's do an erase. I think we should do one. Let's pick one. Huh? No. All right. All right. Overruled by that by my mentor. All right. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a line. We're gonna go back to the way I originally said it. Everybody, I need your attention up here on the floor. All right, I apologize for the confusion. This is what we're going to do. You're going to make you're going to make a couple vertical lines. So let's say you got community colleges. You can do West Valley, uh, Foothill, Evergreen, Evergreen. Thank you. So you're going to get the data from those three schools, and that's the way. That way, it makes a little bit more sense. Okay. What what other questions? What's that? Just uh, start one. Okay, pick what you want in your category. Make sure you stay in your category. All right, I'm gonna get the Chromebooks for you, guys. Will you help me? Yes. I'll try. I have just a minute. Let's put it on rewind. Just a quick announcement. I'm going to pass around this clipboard. I, I want you to put the, no, the each of you put your name here, the group members, and the type of school. Okay? Because I can I can envision mad chaos in a couple days when people are forgetting what school, what group, whatever.